What are seven speaking tips that improve your virtual presentation? Let's find out. By the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on future videos. Number one, make sure you have your camera on. Yeah, a big mistake that I see with all my training clients all the time, all the companies that my team and I, we've been training, they turn the camera off. They're relying on their voice only. And this is a big, big mistake. A big, big mistake. There's a much higher chance for distraction. Like if they don't see you, you know, on their laptop or on their computer, they can do something else more easily. Trust me. <laughs> they don't see you. They're not going to turn their camera on either. So in all this, what this leads to is a lower connection with your audience. What do you want? Do you want to have more impact, have a better, a better connection with your audience? Of course you do. So make sure that your camera is on. Tip number two, it's kind of the opposite of the first one, is use slides. So have your camera on and lose slides. Another big mistake that I see a lot of presenters make online is that they just use face to face. And it's not enough. Again, there's a higher chance for distractions. Yeah, because if all they see is you talking and your face, and depending on how good you are as a speaker, they can easily be distracted. What you need, you need all the support you can get to keep people's attention online. Distractions are the biggest, biggest enemy of any online presentation. Yeah, so slides are really, really good for that. So you gotta have slides because slides help you increase their focus. Of course, what should you do when you use slides? Keep them simple and to the point. Don't data overload. Yeah, that's another mistake. Yeah, but you want to use slides. Tip number three, have eye contact with the lens. With the lens, not with your screen. Okay, so this is a big mistake that 99, if not 100% of all the people that I train, they make. Yeah, they might have the camera on, but then where do they look? They look at their screen, right? The camera is up here, but they look at the screen. You know why? Tell me. Exactly, because the faces of your audience are on the screen. So you want to look at their face, right? And you think you make a good connection this way. Not! Look at me one time. Does it look like I'm looking at you right now? No! I'm looking at you now. Right, so the lens really represents your eyes and the eye contact that you have with the audience. If you want them to feel like you're looking directly at them, yeah, and that's usually what you want because that creates the best connection with the audience, you gotta look directly at the lens. So stop looking at your screen, don't do this anymore. Look at the lens. Tip number four, a mic is an absolute must. You gotta have a mic. You can have a headset like this, one of these mics, but you gotta have an external mic. Okay, the big mistake that most people make, they rely on their computer's mics. Well, I got news for you and I know, you think now, Ben, what's your issue? My computer mic is okay. No, 90% of computer mics suck. I gotta tell you in my online presentation training, yeah, we see it all the time. We got the whole audience, I asked everybody in the room, and everybody will tell the presenter who says, my mic sounds okay, no? 10 people out of 10 tell them, mm, not so good. <laughs> so again, you gotta make sure, get a mic, get a mic, so your audience can clearly hear you, so your voice is at its very best. Number four, have the right frame set up. Now, I hope you already get it with my gestures here, but the frame is the frame yeah, of your webcam usually, or of your camera that you basically caught in. Most people, yeah, the big mistake is they have a terrible frame setup. Here's the number one mistake that most people make. They have their head somewhere down here in the middle or to the left or to the right, or they're too close. <laughs> Now you're laughing, but interestingly enough, most presenters, when they start out, they think the right way to do it is like this. But you know what happens when you do this? You look tiny. Don't I look tiny? Look at me. <laughs> so what's the right way? Well, the best frame setup has two things in common. Number one, your head is almost touching the top. You see how there's a little bit of space here, right in my frame on top, right? So you don't want to have your head sticking out either, but you want to have a little bit of space. 
And the second part is you want to have enough space so people can see your gestures. Gestures are so powerful in online presentations. Whenever you have gestures, you get the attention back. But to be able to people see your gestures, you got to have the right frame set up, right? Because again, if you're down here like this and then you gesture, nobody can see it. Okay. So make sure you have the right frame set up, almost touching the top. And so we can see your gestures, which leads directly to tip number six, have more gestures, use more gesturing. Okay. Gestures create interest. Gestures create interest. So a big mistake that presenters make, they don't gesture at all. They have their hands down here and they just move their mouth and their voice. You gotta gesture. What do gestures create? Gestures lead to more interest, more passion, which increases the whole interest level of the entire presentation. They bring the attention back. Use your gestures. You gotta use more gestures. Tip number seven, involve your audience directly. Involve them directly. One of the biggest mistakes that I see online is that it's all one-way communication. The presenter, the speaker, just blah, 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 blah. You guys listen, 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 listen. That is boring. And then they wait for the Q&A at the end. My friend, that is too late. Yeah, you wanna have two-way communication. You wanna involve your audience. You can ask them questions directly. Okay, if you're in Zoom, Microsoft Team, or WebEx, it doesn't matter where you are, you can ask questions directly. They can answer them during the presentation. What a concept. <laughs> yeah, it works. You can even ask for a show of hands. That is okay too. Okay. And by the way, if you feel you cannot ask questions directly, the other option or your audience is too shy and you know your audience and they are too shy, you can ask them to write in the chat. That's another way you can involve them. Yeah, but make sure you use two-way communication. So comment down below one time, what were your biggest takeaways from today's video? Yeah, which of these seven are you gonna use right away? Again, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. Most importantly though, as you know, I hope, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.